just the heat of an attic. Yeah, I don't know what that would do to the wreaths and stuff like that. And I store mine up there every once in a while. I have to replace the lights, yeah. but whatever you want to do, I got room. Can I ask Bill if he wants some? Okay, well, so, if, so you're Charlie, no, if you're volunteering to take them, that, that's fine. And it'll save us 22. Most, most of them will make it through. How big is the opening to get them up there? Big enough to get one of those? Well, it's a regular drop now. Oh, all right. Okay, well, then I guess we, we you are now the proud holder of our Christmas lights. And we thank you very much. Thank you for volunteering. Um, there was another item in here that um, I guess Bill wanted to know. I guess he had asked Gail how much of last year's legal budget was actually spent and what was left over and so we could decide where it should be reallocated. And I told them, you've got to be kidding. So yeah, well, that's basically, right. Basically, uh, we Not won't enough. know until we get the financials. But uh, there can't be more than a couple hundred dollars, if, if any. There's right. exactly $159 left. Well, I was close enough. In one second. But, but there's other line items that hopefully we will not spend up the budget. I can, if you don't hold me to it. No, but well, we'll wait till we get the final Okay, numbers. okay. All right, well, that's <laughs> we're going to hold you to it. I'm pretty good at this stuff, so I can usually <laughs> shotgun it within a few cents. So, but, we'll uh, we'll wait. wait until you get the final. All right. um, there was another uh, under new business. Um, Bill wanted us to approve reassessing the present landscape and late maintenance contracts and prepare to get new bids to see how much money we could save. Okay. And Nick would get bids on landscape contracts and he would be speaking with some lake maintenance companies. Bill. Yeah. Now, I don't, I mean, all our contracts are up in April, so I don't know, I don't understand what, I don't understand why the rush on this. Well, I suppose there's no rush if you, and it's not very far away if you're going to look at contracts, right? But, but Sarah's probably got well, we can do a really, really good job. Well, I mean, we've never had any trouble in the past, so I don't, I don't understand. Well, okay. Well, basically, we shop around for a more reasonable rate. For well, we we do that every every time the contracts are up. Anyway, but that that's fine. Know. If that's what Bill wants you to do, Nick. Then that's that's the only reason. Well, I mean, we, we do that all the time anyway. You always go. But I, I just, well, no, it, it's not going to hurt, but I don't know what, it, it seemed like this is an awful big rush to. It's not a rush, just it's not about Right. Well, that, they're, no they're, they're, due, they're due in uh, Sorry, April you, anyway. We have to vote on contracts in April anyway. Right. I guess that's fine. I don't need a motion for that because it, that's that's it's what not, it's just gathering. It's just gathering information. Okay. I guess we don't need to do that. Um, I guess I got one more. <laughs> oh, I, well, I have. Um, You've got some too. Yeah, I have. Um, I received a, a letter from um, from Diane and um, the attorney, and we have a house on uh, the corner of the lane, the Collin property. Now, Diane suggests that we send a letter. I mean, the bank has not yet uh, con concluded yet. The last action was a bank filing motion for our summary judgment and affidavits in mid-December. If a person bought the home, he did so without the authority of the association and without obtaining an estoppel. And he would be liable 100%. I, so she is suggesting that we send him a letter. The only thing that 
that you can think of is that he's a renter. He could be claiming to be an owner, but we need to get some handle on it. give you more information on that. I'm, I'm the one that is instigating. Right, I, I, I understand that, but, but what she's saying is we need to find out about this. Yeah. I mean, he's already been in there for a week or up. whatever, and he's fixing it up, and we need to send him a letter. We need to is find that out. Is that no, Diane needs to send, yeah. she has all these files and whatever, and Holland is one of, you know, that's on the list. But I gave her the, right. I think well, what we, what we yeah. need is, is a motion to, uh, to tell her to go ahead and oh, send the letter. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, I make a motion that you go ahead with that, uh, 23386, Old Meadow Circle, I know the address. Okay, I'll second that motion. Which is that house on the corner. Is there any discussion on the motion? No. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Okay, then uh, if you would, Sarah Tamara, uh, send her an email and tell her to please go ahead. Um, Okay, there are, there is another, there are two, um, let's see, in, yes, she's asking for uh, approvals to foreclose on one uh, mortgage, uh, one property that was obtained in 2002 for 120000 She's been paying on it for seven years. The property value was assessed by Lee County at $276,000. And she, re she recommends foreclosure on the property. There is another <coughs> property on um, Hatpin that she is also recommending foreclosure on the property. And um, the other one of the other options on, on half pin is uh, a letter with the total amounts uh, owing the association and provide Mr. Falcone with 15 days in which to pay. And if he doesn't pay within that time, the association then can proceed to file a foreclosure action. I mean, we certainly don't want to get into uh, anything um, as far as foreclosure and owning any property or anything like that, we don't want to get into anything like that. So she's recommending that uh, foreclosure, you know, um, action be taken on these two pieces of property. Otherwise, uh, we're not going to get what we need to out of them, and they've been they've been out there for a long time. You put five hundred dollars. Of the retainer, so that's immediate five hundred dollars each. But she files for the the fees plus legal expenses. Right, right? And they get back the legal the legal expenses are also back to them. So Interest, late fees, legal. You that. won't get that money back. Everything though. has to it comes back. It will not come back on an abandoned property. Well, I make a motion that we follow our you, lawyer's advice. And, uh, he said, "Don't go after that. abandoned properties." These, these don't actually have a bank foreclosure right now that can... Hat pin does. No, they've dropped it. The, they, they weren't pursuing it, so the court dropped it. And in general, an association foreclosure triggers the bank foreclosure, which is what we're trying to do. Which is fine, except that money will be gone. And, and DeBost sat here and said, there are two tracks. You don't go after... a the abandoned homes, because you will never get anything back on that. I, I have had many discussions with the post, and I, I guess I would disagree with him a little bit on that. I he think. sat right here and sat I here. understand what, that he sat right here. I, I do just as much work in it as he does, and uh, I wouldn't say that, especially if there's possibly equity in the house. I mean, do we know what the balance on the mortgage is? Uh, the first mortgage was obtained for three hundred and seventy eight thousand three hundred dollars the property was assessed by Lee County is three hundred and five thousand it appears 